Hey, wonderful people. We're back here talking about law of attraction and manifestation and those sort of things. And one of the things that people bring up a lot is imposter syndrome. When they're writing out their goals and trying to enact their goals, uh, they feel like, that's not me. I feel like an imposter. What am I doing here? Okay, so it's say if you one of your goals you want to make ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars a month, and you write that down, and you are gonna feel like holy cow, <laughs> I feel like such a fake, such a liar, such an imposter. I don't feel good about that. Well, it's okay. Hang with me. Let me tell you why. When you start doing anything for the first time, basically, you are an imposter, right? Think about it. When you started to ride a bike or skateboard or anything that took skill, you started and you felt unnatural. You, you had doubts. You thought this is probably not great. Maybe I wasn't meant to do this. Uh, and... If it was, I remember when I was on the bicycle, the uh, adults were telling me, don't worry, you can do this. This is easy. And I just totally felt like that imposter. And them telling me it was easy didn't make it any easier because I was like, stop. Yeah, it's not easy. I'm busting my butt here just to keep balance and not fall on my face and, and get terribly hurt. It's not easy. Not from where I'm sitting. It's not easy. Just why are they telling me it's easy? It is easy, right? Once you know how to do it, <laughs> it's easy. It's that way with everything. And the reason why you are feeling imposter syndrome is because you're caught between two places. Not doing it and being it fully, right? When you start out, you're in this starting phase where you are doing it. You're trying to do it. You're not the guy or the gal that's not doing it. You're the person that's trying to do it or starting to do it, but you haven't become the thing fully yet. That's where imposter syndrome is. It's a good sign. It means you're on the path. You've taken a couple of the first few steps in order to do the things that you want to do. Take the path, go down the path, and you're going to feel like a fake. Sorry, it's just, you are kind of a fake. You're not the thing yet, but you have to see it through. A lot of people just chuck it at that point. This is where a lot of things are like, you know, 80, 20%, 90%, the 1%, the 99%, because people, a lot of people say, no, I'm out. It doesn't feel real to me. It doesn't feel, I'm not going to do that. Well, that's a lot of what we've done. A lot of what we've done in our lives is us starting out at that imposter syndrome place, feeling like a fake, feeling like we're not really doing this or we may never really do it. This is because your brain hears what you're saying and sees what you are presently. And it's a, a disconnect between the two. It's called dissonance. It's the brain says, you're that person. You're saying you're this person, but I see you being this person. These two do not go together. I feel like we're a failure. I feel like we are a, um, I feel like this, this is, we're fake. We're an imposter here. And that's where the imposter syndrome comes from. But, but it's good because you are on the track. You started. You can only feel like an imposter to being a thing if you started to be the thing. As you continue to do the thing, you'll feel less and less like an imposter. And all the time, as you go through it, you'll be like, oh, now I feel more like I'm doing this. More like I'm doing this. More like I'm doing this. Until one day you're going to be like, hey, I am this thing. I really am doing this. Every job we start is the same thing. And it's okay, right? The, the boss is like, hey, sit down, do this stuff right here, okay? 
I know you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> don't worry, I'll hold your hand. But follow these steps and do this thing. And I'll pay you at the end of the week or whatever, right? And you do those things. And you feel like, I, don't know, I have no idea. I feel like a total fake. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But boss tells me to do these things. I'm going to do these things. <laughs> right? Because I want that paycheck at the end of the whatever. And you do them. And you feel like an imposter. But you don't quit. See, a lot of times when it's us, we quit. We're out. But when it's with a job or somebody else or some other people, we hang in there. And we do the things until we are the thing. Then we're like an expert. We're an old hand, right? We know what we're doing. We are the master of this little thing, this trade, the office, the task, the project. You have to start there. You have to start there. And a lot of times, honestly, you have to start at suck. You have to suck. You will in the beginning. You will stink up the whole situation. Now, I'm hopefully not too bad, right? There's a limit. But, and the bosses are, of companies are sympathetic to that because they've started there too. Think about it. And the owner of the company has even had probably an even worse problem of, of imposter syndrome because he or she started the company and then had to think of all the jobs that had to be done and do all the jobs that had to be done. And each one of these, they felt like a total fake. And they had to overcome it again and again and again. You only have to overcome it once, but that's why you get the smaller paycheck. <laughs> Your goals are the same way. And this is an ongoing thing, especially in the, the, the self-growth community, self help community um honestly a lot of the communities because it's all about reaching a level and growing beyond that level and again and again and again the muscle weightlifting community is the same thing when you start you feel weak and pathetic and like a loser and what am i doing here and especially if you're at a gym and you're trying to lift these heavy weights and it ain't happening too much Right? You're going to feel like I'm a fake. I'm, I'm such a total fraud. I want to be a power lifter. I can't even lift this thing. But you know the process. Once they practice, once they go to the point of failure with their muscles or close to it, they will build up on that muscle. And it's the same thing within us. It's like we, it, it's like our personality and our soul and our being are a muscle. And you have to push it in order for it to grow and it will grow because you will overcome whatever the situation is even if it's just a simple goal to make more money to manifest bigger how about that just manifest bigger whatever your goals are push them a little further it's going to feel unnatural it's going to feel like you're an imposter that's a good thing that means you're stretching it it's like the weights again right I feel weak. Ah, ah, right? Yeah. Don't be afraid of imposter syndrome because it is actually the first good sign that you are on the right path. You're actually doing this. You can't get imposter syndrome if you're doing something else. Okay. So like in your goals, maybe you, you wrote down that you want to make a certain amount in your you just can't. You can't. You're like, I feel like such a fake. I feel like such a fake to do this. That's actually a good thing. So, but maybe you want to take it down a little bit. Take it down a little bit. See where that feeling is in there. You should be a little out of your comfort zone. It's like if you were going to stretch clothing. If, if your intent was to get bigger. Some people are, right? They're muscle builders. And they want to stretch their clothing. Then they have to get to the point of uncomfortableness in their clothing. And it stretches out. And then they, it stays at that length. That size. And again, bigger and bigger. More and more. Yeah, don't be afraid of imposter syndrome. Go for it. You can't be 
You, you can't have imposter syndrome if you're just kicking back and, oh, wow, look at that. Look at that bird out there. Well, that's cool, man. Hey, how about this new TV show? Uh, you know, uh, Disney Plus has this new series. If that's, if that, <laughs> that's your comfort zone, get out of it. Stretch it out like a piece of clothing. You know, reptiles, uh, they shed a new skin. The only way they can get bigger and better and stronger is to bust out of the old limiting, constricting skin that they're in. Yeah, don't be afraid of imposter syndrome. If it feels like it's a little bit of a stretch, that's exactly where you should be. Because if it feels like it's a little bit of a stretch, that's what's going to stretch you. It's the same thing when you're stretching your tendons. You go just a little beyond what is comfortable to get a good stretch. I do this just about every day. Oh, oh this is where it feels, uh, th this is where it feels comfortable. No, n but I'm not gonna gain anything over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a stretch right there. That's a stretch. If I keep doing that, it will stay there. I know because I've been doing this, uh, I'm, we all know this, right? <laughs> so don't be afraid of imposter syndrome. That's just a psychological effect of that situation, of being in a place that's a little uncomfortable. And your mind just builds this thing around it, builds some reasoning around it, so it feels good about the situation. Just because you feel like you are an imposter doesn't mean you are an imposter, even if, honestly, you are. <laughs> All right, enough of that, but it's good. It's good. That is a good indicator that you're on the right path, doing the right thing at the right time. Keep it going until you don't feel like an imposter anymore. Keep it going until, because as you go, you're going to see progress and you're going to say, hey, 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 you know, I am, I, I, I'm actually doing this. Talk it up, manifest it up, talk it up, to tell yourself how great you're doing, overgeneralize on it, keep saying how great you're doing. If it's something like this, you say, oh, oh yeah, wow, I got, look at that, and I'm able to stretch a lot more now. Whew, boy, I'm going to be great at this in a few months. This is going fantastic. This is, uh, this is happening. This is amazing. I'm the guy. I'm the one. This is it. This is the beginning. You haven't even seen anything yet. Do all that, right? That's it. That's that's the key, man. <laughs> that's the key to everything. Don't be afraid of imposter syndrome. Don't be afraid of starting. So many people are afraid of starting. So many people are afraid of starting a YouTube. That's where the filter is. That the thing that filters people, the, the people who are doing it and the people who are not doing it out. There's a lot of businesses are like that. A lot of schools are like that. A lot of big things in our lives are like that. It's a, there's a filter in it usually. And with the, doing YouTube, the filter is that people are afraid of it and then they don't do it because it feels uncomfortable, because they feel like an imposter. Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you, you are an imposter and that's okay. Just keep doing it till you're not an imposter. Till you are the one that you have in your goal. Just keep going after it. Keep going after it until you at least get close to it. If you miss it, you will entirely be in a better place than where you could. You will have learned a lot and you will have grown anyway. So let's wrap it up on this imposter uh, because I feel like an imposter just uh, trying to make this video uh, last as long as possible. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to do that. All right. So Go and do it. And that's it. <laughs>